So today is the uh, October 26, and uh, um, it started to snow a couple of days ago. Uh, it got so cold. Right now it's like less than 10 degrees Fahrenheit here, and it's snow cover outside. Usually in this area, I think around um, Halloween, like October 30th, which is like a five days away only, but at that time you expect a first snow, like a sprinkling snow, but this year, no. And this year also, entire year, we have a, this corona, which is, oh gosh, unthinkable. Oh gosh, you know, I uh, escaped to the mountain and uh, uh, went to the hiking and uh, camping almost like uh, uh, every three days, every f two days I went, went there. And uh, to the point where <laughs> the camping and hiking become a little bit tedious and uh, boring. Wow, you know, and also like a October, uh, August this year, the mountain, Rocky Mountains, became so dry, it started to burn. Naturally, it started to burn. I don't know how that happened. I mean, it's so dry that anything that uh, it's fire source become a huge, huge uh, event. And uh, I, I would, I don't know, it naturally happens uh, by the, sometimes this uh, um, electricity coming from the sky, you know, start the fire, uh, I have no idea. But anyway, um, uh, just before this snowstorm, even Rocky Mountain National Park all got closed because of the fire. The Grand Lake, for example, people has to evacuate. It's this park. People has to evacuate. Oh, thanks to, uh, some people are thankful about this particular cold weather and snow. Uh, it was helping to control the, the fire in the national park. So it's all kinds of things happening. And I bought, because I couldn't go to the, uh, the gym to do exercise, right? The gym is all closed, or even though it is open, you have to wear mask and uh, you have to have appointment, only half an hour exercise. And you have to dress up before you go there and you cannot take a shower or anything. You have to leave after half an hour. Oh, there's no way that I can, I can go to gym, yeah? So, I bought a bicycle, a stationary bicycle. Okay, so I was, you know, peacefully uh, doing until it got this cold. And I put the bicycle at, in my porch because I don't have a room to put anywhere else. The porch is outside, right? Summertime is very nice. And the early fall was nice too. Very, very nice. You know, Indian summer like weather, very nice. Today, it's less than 10 degrees. You know, I don't think I can do bicycle outside today. So, that's all kinds of things happening. And uh, wow, you know, the world's going upside down. Oh, <laughs> towards the ending, but I think about this, happiness. This is a book and also another book called Happiness. This is Will Ferguson. Will Ferguson wrote a book called um, uh, Hitchhiking from Southern uh, Most Tips of uh, Japan to the Northern Tips of Japan. And it's about the travelogue hitchhiking from southern Kyushu to the northern Hokkaido. And uh, that was a wonderful book, right? And uh, I really liked this particular author, Will Ferguson. Will Ferguson went to, to Japan as a JET program. JET is the uh, um, Japanese educational teaching or something like that. Uh, the government sponsored the, uh, all the native speakers to come to Japan and uh, teach English t to the uh, 
elementary school kids, junior high school kids, and high school kids, and, and not college. College is somebody else is teaching. Uh, so anyway, so JET program was uh, very, very probably for native speakers, easy way to go to Japan then at the time. But anyway, he went to Japan and, and taught uh, several years. And I think this particular book, um, hiking, uh, not hiking, hitchhiking, uh, book, is uh, written, and it's so funny, so so nice, and I liked him a, a, a lot. And he married the Japanese woman, and uh, uh, after that he went back to Canada, his own uh, country, and uh, he he wrote a couple of books and. Uh, so those books are uh, 419 and uh, other books also. I think uh, Happiness is the uh, other one too. And uh, uh, he became a little bit prestigious, you know, famous and well known uh, writer in Canada. And so I um, think about him. Because I, when I read that book, Hitchhiking book, his English writing, even for me, and not the Japanese expat, right? Okay, uh, it was strikingly funny, I think. I think the way he describes, so, you know, the, the power of the writing. A skill, you know, he can uh, uh, manage to to be funny. But more than that, it was just funny, you know, mostly mocking about the Japanese, you know, rigid <laughs> lifestyle. And um, sometimes he gets angry because of some of the Japanese is so condescending to the other countries, because at that time when he was doing the hitchhiking, Japan was a number one um, economic power in the world. And uh, so some of the kids, the Japanese kids, um, you know, kind of, a, you know, talking about that uh, to the foreigners and so forth, without knowing, you know, that's nothing, no meaning to everybody else, all right? Anyway, so um, yeah, I uh, um, I bought 419 the book and, and this one, and uh, I haven't read yet because the first one I read and uh, so overwhelmed and uh, uh, so I liked it and I start to read this and it this is like a comedy you know in the vein of the those hitch hitchhiking book but. Uh, for some reason, I went to the only like one fifth of it, and I stopped, and then I, it's hard to get back to it. Four nineteen. Wow, well, this book got lots of award, I think, in Canada, and um, so I should read, but I haven't read yet. So this is my task. I have to read these two books so that I can pay the. Uh, you know, uh, my uh, I owe him because his book was his hiking books. Uh, I couldn't find it anywhere right now. I I think it's somewhere else. Um, I think I. Okay, so this is a book called Hokkaido Hiking Blues and uh, Hitchhiking Japan. Uh, this particular book, I think this title changed a couple of times. <laughs> uh, so there's a different versions of the title, but the same. Same author, Ferguson, Will Ferguson. I think it's still available at Amazon. You can buy this. This is a wonderful book, uh, especially the people who go to Japan and traveling in Japan. I think uh, uh, they get the kick out of it. And even Jap Japanese people who who kind of are pondering uh, going uh, hiking and so forth. Uh, not hiking, hitchhiking. And, uh, but he is not the first one. He was inspired. Will Ferguson was inspired by this author. Road to Saturn. 2,000 mile walk through Japan. This Alan Booth, he's a British guy. 
he passed away, by the way, he got sick or something. But uh, he came to, to uh, Japan and uh, he started to walk from the northern tips to southern tips of Japan, just walking, not the hitchhiking, just walking. You see, that's the difference between this Will Ferguson, he, he took an easy way. He did a hitchhiking, all right? He didn't have to um, walk and he, he's a little bit obese and if you, if you see him in the um, YouTube or some, you know, internet, uh, he's a little bit fat. Uh, <laughs> in this book, he was uh, talking about that, you know, people in Japan, especially girls, when he was single, right, he did uh, this hitchhiking, and the people come to him, so, wow, you're so fat or big, and he just poke, they just poke his stomach or something, <laughs> to how fat that he did. But he was obese at the time, or not obese, you know, in my mind, he's a little bit overweight, right? And uh, anyway, he, he could never, he could never walk from, you know, Hokkaido to Kyushu, but this guy did. He had uh, two books, uh, Looking for the Lost and uh, uh, Roads to Saturn. And uh, the Will Ferguson read this book and he thought, well, you know, I should do the same, but not working, but hitchhiking. All right, just hold on. Okay. He did that and I, uh, I started to read this. And uh, it's not that much, you know, it's uh, insightful. It's a very, very good book, uh, but uh, uh, it's not as funny as this. You know, if you have a novice of reading a hitchhiking book or traveling book of Japan, North, Northern Hokkaido to, to Southern Kyushu, uh, these two books, two authors are uh, only options there. And I strongly recommend Will Ferguson. Um, so anyway, so I um, read this and I uh, uh, tried to not hitchhike, but uh, um, you know, he inspired me somewhat like, uh, to write things. You know, he was just a uh, um, young kid who went to Japan, but he's smart though. I, 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 I saw his autobiography, uh, not autobiography, the biography, you know, in the YouTube, uh, not the YouTube, the uh, um, wiki, and uh, he has a uh, siblings. Everybody is like a you know professor, professors or writers or a uh, very very high position in the in the society. So he's a he's a smart person, and he is the. Um, uh, but anyway, he he uh, did the jet program, this English teaching program. And he finished and he got married with a Japanese woman and he went back to, to Canada and he became a bona fide good writer. And he inspired me that uh, if he could do it, maybe I could do it, right? Okay, because he's just a uh, you know, hitchhiker used to be. So I am a hiker, not a hitchhiking, but hiker. So I could write the book. Okay, bye.